بسم الله والحمد لله وصلى الله على رسول الله Welcome to Baraka Quest This is Abu Aqiq And inshallah we're going to uh, do something a little different This is new for me uh, Inshallah we're going to do a, a poetry reading It's a melancholy sort of day And uh, inshallah put you in a certain mood And inshallah this poem will also give one much to ponder and reflect upon and also mashallah it's uh, it's the poem itself mashallah it is itself a, a meditation upon death and departure from this world uh, this is the 73rd sonnet by William Shakespeare he said that time of year thou mayst in me behold when yellow leaves or none or few do hang upon those limbs which shake against the cold bare ruined bowers where late the sweet birds sang in me thou seest the twilight of such day as after sunset fadeth in the west which by and by black night doth take away death's second self that seals up all in rest in me thou seest the glowing of such fire that on the ashes of his youth doth lie as the deathbed whereon it must expire consumed by that which it was nourished by this thou perceivest which makes thy love more strong to love that well which thou must leave ere long mashallah that's it a very touching poem uh, one about aging that we are all passing through this life some of us we will live to maybe be we will some of us will have lived to become elderly and some of us we won't make it that far but as one ponders their life and thinks that that their life is coming to an end and if this is for example advice to a friend or someone that he is very close to someone who's younger than him to remind him that he himself he's going to depart this world and that he sees the signs of aging in him and he knows that this life as we all are just visitors that we are all just visitors and then Shakespeare uh, Shakespeare sake Shakespeare Shakespeare lapsus linguae Shakespeare mentions he compares the sleep to death and it is mentioned in the Quran the that when we sleep at night that the soul comes forth but is extracted from the body not not now it stays attached by a spiritual umbilical cord but the soul does leave the body at night and some people in the western in some of like the new age communities they talk about this but this is true that the soul leaves the body when the person is sleeping and then uh, it is connected as we said and then the soul will return to the body when the person awakes so there is a, 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 a similitude between sleep and death and here where, Sha where uh, Shakespeare he mentions that the, the sleep is where one is as he says sealed up in rest now as for death not all the people will rest of course some people they will ha be in their graves and it will be a time of rest and for others they will be in their graves and it is a time of torment and torture and suffering and being deprived so we know as Muslims for one to attain rest in the grave the person has to die on Islam the person has to die with the proper belief this is the fact of the matter that the person has to die believing in the Creator properly and believing in all of the prophets and not rejecting any of them this is what is required of the person so also going on what was said earlier that the person Shakespeare in this case is reflecting upon his youth and that his youth and the body itself that it, in, in youth it's strong it has energy it has ambition and then the age besets the body and then the person he loses his strength he loses typically he loses his ambition and that he realizes that he is facing the departure from this world and 
related to that just to show the nature of this world that when the person is approaching death his loved ones tend to love him even more although he is leaving the love and the attachment for that person who is passing or, or appears to be on the brink of passing and transitioning from this world that the person his love the the people who loved him they will tend to love him more at that time now the wise thing to do of course is to strive to be obedient to the creator and to see to it bi ta'ala that one's family and one's friends also live in a likewise likewise manner that they live in obedience to the creator and we know as muslims we know that the one who leaves this world as a righteous muslim they will enter paradise without any torture without any suffering and they will be united with other righteous people in paradise who also will not have faced any suffering or torture uh, we do know that the muslims some of the the major sinners among the muslims they will face torture in the hereafter but the difference in this regard is that those major sinners among the Muslims who did not repent before they died and that th those ones who were not forgiven by the Creator that they will face torture but their torture does not last forever their torture is temporary and then they will be admitted to paradise but of course the wise person he or she does not want any part of the torture of the Creator so the wise thing to do is to live in obedience to the one who created us. This is the true success. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the, the good endings and the tawfiq. Walhamdulillah wa sallallahu ala rasulillah. Please check us out at Baraka Quest uh, at WordPress at the WordPress blog barakahquest.com B-A-R-A-K-A-H Quest Q-U-E-S-T all one word barakahquest.wordpress.com and as always please share in your social so, social media networks and just share the information with your friends and families and acquaintances may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the success may Allah ta'ala guide us to the goodness and protect us from the sins walhamdulillah wa sallallahu ala rasulillah